Greetings and welcome back to Stardew Valley. So we are on the eighth of spring. <laughs> I was actually uh, thinking, what? Spring? Summer? Okay, yeah, the eighth of spring. Let's watch some TV. Living off the land. Welcome to Living off the land. We're back again with another tip for you all. Now listen up. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. Good to know. And let's see the weather, weather report for tomorrow. Ah, cloudy with a light breeze. Okay. Well, so we can't upgrade our watering can. Oh! Somebody wants to talk to us. It's Clint, the blacksmith. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed here that you've been breaking some rocks open and find ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the, the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Oh, thank you very much. That is very kind of you, Clint. Learned how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction and tool upgrades. Which we can only do at his blacksmith shop. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Yep, I can confirm this. I was using the basic watering can in my other save file for pretty much two seasons and yeah. Once I got the other one, work was a lot easier. <clears throat> <laughs> well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Ah, perfect. Now, forging ahead. Craft a furnace. Let's see what we need for that. We need 20 copper ore and 25 stone, which is quite a lot. We need to get this to the museum still. But first of all, our daily routine. Watering all the crops. And I think this was Kali. It's coming in along nicely. Uh, also, the beans should be uh, mature shortly-ish, maybe. Ah, well, we will see. We will see. Yoink. And from the others. Oh, we need more of this. Yoink. Good. And there we go. Refill the watering can. Now we don't have anything to harvest. And we want to get this to the museum, but uh, let's take the scenic route. Um, yeah, let's take the scenic route so maybe we can get some foraging stuff. Which we can put into the shopping basket. <laughs> Why am I forgetting all the words? I don't know. It's it's weird. Hello, Linus. Just droning around basically to find a little bit. It's still very early, so that's all right. Ah, nothing here. Let's see. Something on the islands? No and no. Oh, wow. That is a little bit odd, but hmm, oh well. <clears throat> Hello, little birdies. No, nothing up here in that regard. Oh, daffodil. Very good. Hello, daffodil. Nice something we can ship. Oh, another one. Perfect. Very good. Now let's see if something's on the billboard. No, it isn't. Uh, Vincent's birthday is coming along, so we could go for that. Let's go through people's garbage without anybody noticing, hopefully. Do, 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 don't mind me. <laughs> okay, let's give Gunther the quartz. I don't know what I'm missing in terms of the community center. I haven't gotten the wizard quest, I suppose. Let's donate. Yoink. Perfect. 
Let's see, explore the mine, advancement, reach farming, raising animals. Maybe I have to get farming level 1 first. Uh, I can't remember and I kind of don't want to look it up in the wiki. I have no problem looking up a villagers' um, favorite stuff to give them, but I don't know, in terms of the normal gameplay, I'm, I'm just waiting for the events to occur. Might be the ro uh, wrong approach, but oh well. Oh, a little bit of clay. Oh yeah, that's right, we still need the 300 wood there for the bridge to get some more incredible fo um, foraging opportunities. Hello, Penny. Oh, did you want something? Hmm. And, oh, um, I should mention that Shizzy has supposed to go for Penny, for example. <laughs> um, and she asked me for whom I went in my private fo uh, save file. Um, in my private save file, I went for Penny, and she is really lovely. So, um, I would like to go for somebody else. Um, probably Leah or Abigail, maybe. Um, I'm not even considering... Where is she? Not even considering... I think Haley was she called? She seems a little bit like a... I don't know. Not very nice person. Doesn't strike me as that. Eh, nothing in the garbage. So, um, she's off the, the hook, but, um, yeah, you can decide between Maru, Lia... Ah, actually, this is a really nice gift, thank you! She likes ev everything you find in the woods, which makes it very easy to, well, not please her, but uh, to give her a gift. I can just forage daffodils and give one to her every other day, and it will be great, so... Yeah, might be an opportunity. Oh, hello. Hello, Jazz. Oh, are you looking for Aunt Marnie? No, I'm not, but, um, yeah. <laughs> right, let me put the daffodil into the shipping basket. And afterwards, I think we can go to the mine to get more copper. Because I want that furnace, and uh, we still want some wood, so... Yoink. We have 97 of that. We have 14 copper ore which isn't bad um, but we still need more so yeah yoink in there and now off to the mines we are or we go basically just stroll in the first levels uh, find some copper ore I don't really care for the stone uh, in my private safe fall at first I crushed every stone I could find because sometimes you get geos from that and, and Every now and then you get one piece of copper ore, but it's, it really isn't worthwhile. You lose a lot of energy and I don't have that much, and I don't have um, field snacks with me. So I will just go ahead and... Let's see, we... Yeah, we didn't reach level 5 yet. Once we reach level 5, I can use the elevator to get down there. Okay, nothing here. Now I have to find... Ah, yeah, see what I mean? Sometimes you get one copper ore. Okay, yoink. Ooh, hello. Ow! That was very mean of you. How dare you. Receive death. Okay, topaz. Or topaz? Yeah, spam some damage. And there we go. He's dead. Copper ore. Let's see, is there a way... Ah! Oh. April gave me um, the hint that you can crush the stone on top of them, so uh, I tried that. It works. Very good. Oh! This thing isn't very dangerous. Oh yeah, the cave carrot. I want to have that. Um, let's get rid of the bug meat for, that for now, because the cave carrot is awesome. Oh, wow, two topaz. We're getting lucky today. We can get down here. Hardwood I don't need yet. Come 
on now. Oh, this is a cherry bomb. I I think you can use them for bombing enemies, but I have never used it. And uh, quite frankly, I don't find it yet that useful. So, yeah, I will leave it behind because we don't have much inventory space. And um, the gems I find a lot more useful to give Gunther. Uh, speaking of which, there is an amethyst here. Ah, you know what? Let's eat the cave carrot. Ah, uh, we can get more later. It gives us energy, it's a very cool thing. We don't want the tree sap, we want the amethyst. Okay. Yoink, copper ore. We don't want the buckwheat. Ah, oh, another one of those! me. There is a recipe later which you can use uh, with cave carrots and I think a winter item. And it's it's great, it gives a lot of energy, it gives a bonus in fighting. So I'm I'm really quite sad to leave it behind. We're finding so much gems today. Usually I, um, or in, in the other save file, it took me a long time until I found my first gem uh, geode like that. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Oh, this is a topaz geode we can crush. Yoink. We have now four of that. Ah, okay, let's take the stone. And there is one more copper or vein which I want to get. And after that, we're level five. We are approaching the evening. So yeah, level five, we take a quick stroll if there's anything useful. Yep, deeper in the mine, reach level 40. Nah. Uh, I don't see any immediate goodies, no. Okay, let us use the elevator to get back upstairs. Although you can leave the mine always through the ladder like this. And as you can see now, I can go to level five straight away. But we found a lot of good stuff. We found two amethysts, four topaz, uh, seven copper ore. So, oh yeah, and two quartz. So yeah, quite nice. The cool thing is, um, I think Abigail likes amethysts, so I can hold back on them and uh, keep them. One will, uh, Gunther will get, uh, so we can get that in our museum collection. But one I will hold back. I think some people like Topaz as well. They give a little bit of money, so um, since we do want to get some more, might have to get some. Uh, yeah, but for now, let's craft a furnace. Yoink. Badunk. Okay, um... That goes in there. We can't really do much yet. We can smelt the quartz to get refined quartz. But, um, nah, I don't want to do that as of yet. For now, let's put the furnace here. We need five of one ore kind to smelt it. Um, and we need coal. So, just to demonstrate it, I can burn one of those. The other one we will sell. So we have something to sell. Um, yeah. I will hold back on the amethyst because I do know that Abigail likes it. Wonk, wonk, doop. Right. These two have to get to Gunther on the next day. But for now, for today, let's get some more wood until we fall asleep. And get rid of this stone. Eh. And basically loads of trees have to fall. 8 p.m. Oh, smelting. Use the furnace to smelt a copper bar. Oh, oh, maple seed. And uh, no, maple seed is more important to me right now for the field snacks. 
air and our energy is depleting very fast, so we need more copper to upgrade our tools. Okay. Yeah, and you, as you can see, um, it is already smelted, which is quite nice. So we have now a piece of refined quartz. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I will not um, cut down another tree entirely. I have to see that my energy is not depleted entirely. 24 left. Yeah, just some basic getting rid of stuff. And this one, yeah. We are now nearly exhausted. So let's get rid of this stuff. Let's head back to our cabin. It's it's half nine, so I think this is a good opportunity to go in bed, into bed and see what we achieve today. Level up in mining, plus one pickaxe proficiency. We can now craft that cherry bomb I talked about. Okay, nice. We got 30 by foraging. And yeah, 80 per piece of topaz and 25 per piece of quartz. So you don't really want to sell the quartz. Just wanted to show that. And I wanted to have a little bit of money. Topaz, 80 per topaz. Um, in the later game, it isn't really worthwhile. But uh, for now, it's nice to have a little bit of money. So yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, a rating would be much appreciated as per usual. And uh, keep on commenting and especially uh, make your choice on which um, person we want to befriend a little bit more than the others. As I said, the choice would be Leah, Abigail or Maru. So make your choice, put it in the comments and let me know. I will see you guys next time. So until then, yours faithfully, the Pastafarian.